Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, we're gonna take a look at adding some pretty cool overlays to our YouTube stream. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Okay, we're gonna jump right into it. So if you don't have OBS already installed, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below that will bring you through the OBS and how to get it installed your first time and connect it to your YouTube channel. In this short video, we're not gonna be covering that. So if you do need that there information, definitely check it out. I'll make sure to leave everything you're gonna need in the description below. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna really need to know is you need OBS and we need stream elements to make this here work. We're going to use the overlays from stream elements and we're going to put them in OBS. So those are two things that are going to be required for this here video. So we're just going to open OBS here and I'm just opening up OBS so you'll be able to follow along as I go and I'm just leaving it open so it'll be easier for me to add the browser, the browser sources and the overlays later on. Next we're going to go over here to Google and just type in stream elements. If this is your first time using stream elements all you're going to need to do here is log in with your YouTube account. So I'm going to log out here and I'm going to click the log in and it's going to ask you to log in with your Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, or Trivo. If you've logged in with your Twitch before, or you've accessed this from any other account, you just start with the YouTube. You have to log in with your YouTube for this here to give you your alerts. So if you've already logged in with Twitch, you can't use your YouTube one. So you'll have to log out and log back in using your YouTube. So definitely keep that in mind. That's one thing I run across. It'll bring you through a process and it'll get you to select the correct YouTube account. So make sure that it's selected here. Your icon over here should let you know that you're logged into the correct account. Now from here, it's pretty simple. Overlays and alerts and stuff have never been easier. Stream elements got you covered. They have the best, easiest to access. It's not very much, but this here will get you up and going really fast and very easy. So we're going to go down here to the streaming tools. In the overlays, it's just going to have like your overlays once you already have them, or you can create a new one from scratch. I'm going to go to the overlay gallery and the first one is the themes. Now, now the themes are like like your just starting screens and your chats and a few other things. I'm not going to do that in this here video, but you can just go down through these and just select what ones you want. This here will be an easy way for you to set up other things in your overlay, like your just starting, your BRB and stuff like that. These are just click create and it'll just add them. For me, we just only want to get started. So we're just only going to do the alerts today. So for this one here, we're just going to go over here to alerts. And there's widgets as well that'll give you like third uh, 3D subscriber alerts, your social media rotator. So this one here is a really good one too over in the widgets. And all you have to do is click create and copy paste the browser source in your OBS. I'm going to show you all that later on here. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't miss anything. So in here in the alerts, there's going to be a couple of options. There's going to be static alerts and there's going to be animated alerts. We want these here animated alerts. We're just going to click on the create. Now it'll say create new overlay by adding to an existing overlay. So you can add these to one if you've already had one made or if you come from other places have already done this for a little bit or just revamping your channel you can just click create new one or add to an existing one we want to create a new overlay and then click continue this is just going to let us name it i'm going to leave it this here exact one the operator animated alerts so i'll know exactly what one it is and just click create copy this url and go to my alerts now that's really all you need to do. You can literally just go in here, add yourself a browser source by clicking a browser source, name it alerts. Make sure you name this here alerts so that you know what one it is because you don't want it to be a big mess. Click OK. We want to paste that. We want to make this here 1920 by 1080. If you do not change the size, you may have issues with it not showing up correctly. Uh, that's on you. And if you don't set it up exactly the way that it's showing in a video, then if you have problems definitely try and just click some stuff try some things out or make sure to go back and check and make sure everything's exactly the same because these things will make a difference this here could cut your alert off if it's not placed correctly on the canvas after that we want to shut down source when not visible and refresh browser source when becomes active you want this here done like this for all of your browser sources and then just click ok now that it's in here we're going to be able to give it some tests so i'll show you how to do that we'll just click on the edit and it'll give you a tour if this is your first time in here. Like if you're nervous of clicking stuff and, and whatnot, it's like, I don't mind. I don't mind coming in here and just clicking on every button and see what it does. Like I'm not scared to break anything. I'll just start over. It's not that hard. This year's starting tour does prevent you from having to go back and redo it all again. So if you do spend a lot of work on it and you do something wrong, this year will just help you. It'll set, you, it'll go through some of the things. It'll take you to the editor and how to move things and add things. But for me, I'm just going to go through this quickly so that you'll have a good idea how it goes. Now the alert box is going to have everything really that you need in it. It's going to have your subscriber alerts, your members alerts, your super chat alerts, tip alerts, and purchase alerts. From here, you can just click the emulate and it'll allow you to go through and just pick what one you want. So subscriber event is going to come up like this here. Now in OBS, it'll, it'll look a little different where you placed it. So in here, you'll be able to make it bigger or smaller if you want in here. You do not want to do this in OBS. You want to make sure that you make it bigger in here because if you make it bigger in here, when you refresh your browser source, it'll show up bigger in here. So there we go. That's one alert. Let's try it. Tip 
check her OBS, make sure it's coming up. If you see it in your OBS, stream is going to see it. Everything that shows up in your OBS should definitely be showing up on stream unless you have something absolutely broken that you would need to reinstall OBS for. This year should show up in stream if it shows up on your OBS. If it doesn't, repaste your source. You did something wrong. If it's not showing up at this year point, you made it to here and you're having an issue, just go back, click here, repaste your URL by clicking right here, copy the URL, and then paste it. Make sure this is 1920 by 1080 and make sure shutdown source when not visible and refresh browser source, click OK. That's it, you're done. That's all you need for alerts, all you need. That's everything, done. We just click save. So any changes you make in here, make sure you click the save. If you don't, it's just gonna, well, you'll lose all your saved stuff. And there you go. So that's pretty easy to set up. That'll be your alerts. And like I said, you can go over the, the overlays, but it's a little bit more picky for the themes. It's the same thing though. We're gonna go with the St. Patrick's one. Just click on the create. It's gonna bring us into this here, name your theme. So you can name this one here, your main theme or one you always use. And it's gonna stay on your stream elements forever. So once you're here, I'm gonna leave them all the, all the same. So I remember which ones they are, but we're just gonna click create overlay. And now this is going to give you the St. Patrick's animated overlay for for St. Patrick's Day in game. Uh, this is the talk screen, starting scene, BRB scene, and ending scene. So all you would need to do is open your OBS. I would pull it over to the other side. And then what I would do is just add a source, add the browser source, and name it what it is. So in game 2022, 2022, I would click OK copy this here and it's just a pretty much a rinse and repeat this is just 1920 by 1080 the same as we did the last one shut down source when not visible refresh browser source when not active click ok there it is it's that fast it's already up so i have my chat i have my my chat screen up my members my subscribers and my latest my latest tips just instantly show up that's how easy it is to get overlays in 2023 if you can't get an overlay on your youtube there's something wrong they make this here so easy this is just buttons see how fast that is that's so crazy now for going further than this here, I would suggest like if I was going to make a just talking that you should make a scene by adding a scene here and maybe calling it just chatting. And then I would continue from here to add the browser source. We're going to call this one here just chat. Click OK. It's the same thing. We're going to go down here and take the just talking scene. And this is going to be the whole, this is going to be the whole scene. So this is, this is a pretty big improvement over what it used to be. And you can put your own together. Don't get me wrong. You can take the time and build your own and make a really nice one. When you're making the overlay, you can upload everything to stream elements so that you can have it. So it's just a lot easier to add it as just a single link than it would be to add it a little piece at a time. Like I usually create my overlays with a far, five or six static pictures and some other things. I find that pretty complicated to the way you can do it now and then bam there it is so that'll be your camera you're just chatting and it'll be the same for each one of these here this is your starting scene your brb and your end scene you would just copy paste these here in different scenes and that's your overlays that's everything you really need there you go um, overlays have never been this easy. 2023 overlays, you can just go in, go through. They have quite a bit of a gallery. I'm not gonna go to this one here. I'm just gonna go to the gallery. So this is all they have. It's not like they have like a super big pile load to pick from, but they have a lot of amazing ones here that you can actually just customize yourself and do a lot of different things in. Same as you can go to the overlays and you can create a new overlay. Now this is gonna look a little weird and it's gonna probably have some tools in here you be a little bit confused with, possibly. I'm not, I'm not really sure. You can take a look around in here and, and do some things if you mess up it just delete it and start over and that's why i suggest getting used to it but you can just click start and there you go you can add a widget now there's alerts there's streaming tools your this is how you add your chat right here bam there's your twitch chat somewhere and then it's the same thing just click save name your overlay whatever it's going to be and copy the link paste it in your obs now that's just how you add the overlay i'm not going to go over how to create each overlay because it's pretty much the same as twitch so you'll be able to find a lot of content of how to actually like make your own from scratch or you can go through these here and add them all to one you create it yourself so if like you have a special background or something like that there that you super like you can just add these here to an existing one so to, the, to do that when you're in the overlays you can go to the alerts and in here again we're just going to go through the process click create Instead of clicking create, you can click add to an existing one. When you click that there, it's just gonna give you a drop down menu of the ones you already have, and you'll be able to add it to any existing one that you currently have in your overlays here. So I think that's really good and that's super convenient. Um, one last extra, I guess, if you're looking to get a little bit if you're looking to get a little bit more set up and want to get donations or tips, there's the revenue tab where they have sponsorships, merch, 
and tipping settings. Now the merch, I suggest checking it out. You can, they have a merch creator. You can go in here. It'll give you the link. You can create all your stuff on. Like I said, I'm not going to go through this one here. It's the same as Twitch. I do have a couple of videos covering this here. If you wanted to check them out, I'll leave those in the description below for the merch and the tipping settings. If you want to go through the fine details, it's the same as it is for Twitch though. So it's not like YouTube specific. So just getting here and getting your overlay set up is going to be the only thing that's going to be a little different. Uh, for the tipping settings, all you have to do is just add your PayPal in here and it'll tell you when you're done. It'll bring you through the steps to set it up. Once it's all done, just click done and connect it and it'll give you a link so that you can post it in your chat. And like I said, I'll drop links to a video on how to set up tipping and the merch as well. So if you're interested in those, definitely check the videos out below. But that's it for this one here. After you're done there, you'll have a couple of cool overlays in your OBS and you'll be set up. This here won't get you all the way completely set up. You're going to have to fix these here up and play around with them to make them your own if you want them. But this here is a great start and it's easy to get going. You can find other graphics later on when you have more time. This here will get you up and going super fast. But that's it for this one here. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.